The sciences and math are deeply intertwined. But where did math come from? Was it invented or was it discovered? The earliest mathematicians tell the story of Domitian, Emperor of Rome between 81 and 96 CE, and historians have generally agreed he wasn't a nice man. Anyone who refused to follow him, such as philosophers, would be expelled from Rome. We can only speculate as to why mathematicians supposedly provoked Domitian's ire, but they joined not just philosophers, but also adulterers and mimes in their status as enemies. Every ancient culture that studied math came to it via their own route. For the Greeks, it was harnessing geometry and logic to come up with theorems and proofs, concepts that there's pretty much no evidence for before people like Pythagoras and Plato started teaching them after the 6th century BCE. In ancient China, on the other hand, math grew up primarily as a practical system for governance and provisions. In India, texts as old as 8th century BCE suggest Shatapatha Brahmana used math as a way to commune with the gods. But for the ancient Babylonians, working as far back as 1600 BCE, it was astronomy that set their mathematical traditions apart from all the others. Their observations form some of the earliest known examples of ancient math. The oldest Babylonian math is a weird mix of rudimentary and impressive. It's incomplete and contains mistakes. There's no evidence of any technique being applied. But at the same time, it's evidence of an extremely ancient mathematical tradition that some say rivaled Renaissance Europe in its sophistication. But were they the first? Over in Egypt, people have been using, and more importantly for our purposes, recording, mathematics for as long as they've been writing at all. And for the best evidence of Egyptian mathematical prowess, look no further than the most iconic of civilization's achievements, the pyramids. They provide the clearest indications that the society of that period had reached a high level of achievement. Some of the measurements of the Great Pyramid make some people believe that it was built with certain mathematical constants in mind. So were the ancient Egyptians the first mathematicians? Well, in one rather important way, yes they were. The earliest known named author of a math textbook, known as the Rhine Papyrus, came from the so-called Second Intermediate Period of Egypt. His name was Ames, and he almost certainly actually wasn't a mathematician at all. In the Papyrus, according to his own introduction to the work, was copied in the year 33, in regular numbers that translate to having been written in around 1650 BCE, and copied from work dating roughly two centuries earlier than that. Now we have to go back, not a few thousand years, but tens of thousands, all the way back to the Stone Age. In George de Versy's Joseph's book, The Crest of the Peacock, non-European roots of mathematic, he states, Mathematics initially arose from a need to count and record numbers. We can then legitimately include proto-mathematics, which existed when no written records were available. The first mathematician by this metric was whoever created the Ashago bone. At first glance, you might not expect it had anything to do with maths at all. The key is in the notches that have been scraped into the sides. Four groups in this row, four in that, eight in another, all in different amounts and with varying spacing between them. The markings on row A and B each add up to 60. Row B contains the prime numbers between 10 and 20. Row A is quite consistent with a numeration system based on 10. Finally, row C has been interpreted as showing some appreciation of the concept of duplication or multiplying by two. Exactly why the Ashago bone was created is a mystery. Some believe it was used for mathematical games, others that it functioned as a calendar for religious or meteorological purposes. There's even speculation that the Ashago people eventually bequeathed their number system to the Egyptians making the bone not just evidence of some ancient calculator, but the closest thing the math world has to a last universal common ancestor. But for now, it's the Ishago bone that takes the crown, as the oldest confirmed mathematical object in existence, and its creator, whoever they were, is undoubtedly the world's first known mathematician. Thank you for watching IFL Science. Don't forget to subscribe for more science videos.